Why would you use a neural network? Why not just stick with linear or logistic regression? Before we get into the details, let's start with a brief overview of what linear and logistic regression are. Linear regression is used for predicting a continuous outcome based on one or more input features. It fits a straight line through the data. On the other hand, logistic regression is used for binary classification problems. It predicts the probability of an outcome that can only have two values, using a logistic function to squeeze the output between 0 and 1. While these methods are powerful, they have limitations. Linear regression assumes a straight-line relationship between inputs and outputs, which doesn't hold in many real-world scenarios. Logistic regression, although useful for classification, also assumes a linear relationship between the input features and the log odds of the outcome. Now, you might be thinking, can't we represent non-linear hypotheses using linear and logistic regression by adding polynomial features? And yes, you can. By introducing quadratic or cubic polynomial features, linear models can capture non-linear relationships. But there's a catch. When the number of features, n, is large, adding polynomial terms can quickly become impractical. The number of features grows exponentially, leading to an explosion in the complexity of the model. To make this clear, let's use a computer vision example. Imagine you have a high-resolution image of 1000 by 1000 pixels. That's a million pixels per image. If you were to use logistic regression for a classification task, each pixel would be a feature. Now, if you add quadratic polynomial features, you go from 1 million features to approximately 500 billion features. With cubic polynomial features, this number skyrockets to over 166 trillion features. Handling this many features is not only computationally expensive, but also impractical. And this is where neural networks come in. Neural networks are designed to handle complex, non-linear hypotheses. Unlike linear and logistic regression, which require polynomial features to capture nonlinearity, neural networks can model these intricate patterns naturally through their multilayered architecture. Neural networks consist of multiple layers of interconnected nodes, or the neurons. Each connection has a weight, and each neuron applies an activation function to its input. This architecture allows neural networks to learn from data in a hierarchical manner, capturing both simple and complex patterns. Let's take our image recognition example further. Imagine you're trying to identify cats and dogs in pictures. With logistic regression, even with polynomial features, you'd struggle to capture the complex patterns and features that differentiate cats from dogs. However, a neural network can effectively learn these patterns by processing the image through multiple layers, each layer extracting different levels of features, from edges to shapes to more abstract representations. Neural networks shine in their ability to generalize and handle a wide range of problems. Whether it's image recognition, natural language processing, or playing complex games like Go, neural networks have proven their superiority over simpler models like linear and logistic regression. So, why use a neural network? The answer lies in the fact that neural networks are great for handling complex, non-linear hypotheses. While linear and logistic regression can approximate nonlinear relationships using polynomial features, this approach becomes impractical and computationally expensive as the number of features grows. Neural networks, with their multilayered structure and nonlinear activation functions, offer a powerful and efficient alternative for tackling these challenges. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insights into the world of machine learning.